Once upon a time, there was a story about a little boy and his trumpet and his two younger brothers. They couldn't wait to make their way into the magical, mystical forest in hopes of some fun, fun things to do. They made their way all the way through the woods, around the corner, up and over the hill, until they found the magical rock. They pulled it back and turned it around. Poof! They entered. It was a beautiful, sunny day. And they didn't know exactly where they wanted to go, but they decided they would follow this special path. The path was gray, and it was a little bit different than the other paths that there'd been before. As they continued to walk, all of a sudden the forest began to dissipate, and things began to get flat. As they looked around, all of a sudden buildings began to pop up. Soon, they walked a little bit farther, and it almost looked like they were entering a stadium. As they looked around a little bit more, the gray road started turning into blacktop. And as they walked even farther in, they looked all the way around. And it wasn't quite a football field, and it wasn't exactly a baseball field. But it looked like, in the distance, wait, did you hear that? The little boy with the trumpet listened. I don't know. Keep quiet. Let's see if we can hear something. In the distance, they thought they heard... What was that? I don't know. It's, it sounded like a race car. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. I think we're on a race car track. Wow. Do you think we're going to... I think we're going to do that. The little boy, the Trump, and his brothers immediately ran all over to the pit. They found three beautiful, shiny, shiny new cars just begging to be driven. Um, I'm getting the red one. Okay, that's fine, the little boy, the trumpet said, because that's my favorite color. The youngest brother said, I'm going to have the gray one. Because I like gray. And the middle brother said, I'm going to have blue. Because I love blue. They hopped into the front seats of these souped up race cars. Boy, I can't believe it. We're actually on a track. And we're going to be racing. Maybe like Lightning McQueen. I don't know if we're that lucky. They started the cars and drove up to the white line. As they looked up and placed their seatbelts on. They noticed that the lights were beginning to change. They put their helmets on and turned on their microphones. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. I'm right here. Roger that. All right. When the light hits green, you know what that is, boys. Make sure you have your harness straps on and make sure you're ready for takeoff. The little boy with the trumpet and his brothers couldn't even imagine they were actually finally going to race each other in fancy, fancy souped up cars. That screen like go, 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 go. The boys were driving in the car so fast. Things that were looked like stars and stripes were now just a blur in the distance. They were traveling so fast and having so much fun. They couldn't even believe that they were doing this. The little boy with the trumpet's on the right side, and he's driving as fast as he can. Slowly behind him, he's looking back. He's looking back. The little dot in the distance of that great car is his younger brother. He's coming up fast. He's coming up on the side. Oh, no, watch out. Here comes the blue vehicle. He's flying by as fast as he can. <sighs> right to the end. I can't believe it. You beat me. You beat me again. The middle brother said, I told you I had the fastest car because the blue car was the fastest car. Wow, boy, this is so much fun. Why don't we try it again? Who's down there? The little boy with the trumpet, his brothers looked up. Uh, who's that? Who's down there in a the trap? Um, I have no idea where that even came from. As they looked up into the distance, they almost could see somebody on the other side of the track. And it almost looked like they were in a vehicle as well. Um, I think we got company, boys. 
What are you boys doing here? How did you even get into this track? Little boy the trumpet looked over and said, Well, we happened to be walking on a great trail, and the great trail slowly turned into a dark black blacktop trail. Before you know it, we entered into this wonderful race car track. Well, the only way you're going to get out of this is if you beat me. Otherwise, I think you boys are going to be stuck here forever. <laughs> Little boy the trumpet, his brother said, Absolutely not. You're not going to win. We've got the fastest car. My brother just proved it. Well, I'm driving a red Ferrari. And I think you don't stand a chance. Little boy the trumpet and his brothers all got together and began to talk. Well, we can do this in a couple ways. We could all race him or we could just race him individually and see who could beat him. But he does have a pretty fast car. Yeah, but remember, my blue car flew by you guys like he was nothing. I say, you pick me and I'll race them. Because otherwise, there are going to be other cars on the track and then it might be distracting. If there was just he and I, I think we can do it. <sighs> what do you say? The youngest brother looked up and he said, okay, I think we can do that. The little boy the trumpet said, fine. This is all on you now. You understand that, right? You have to beat him. Don't worry. I blew by you guys. I think I'm going to be fine. All right, sir. Um... We've selected a driver. Are you? Who's it going to be? That little shrimp? No, it's going to be me. And I'm driving the blue car. That blue thing? That couldn't even get out of its own way. We'll see about that. Middle brother jumped in his car, put on his harness, and put on his hat. The little boy with the trump and his brothers both kept their helmets on so they could communicate with him on the track. Can you guys hear me? Yep, we got you loud and clear. All right, you remember, you're going to go nice and slow with this guy. Just like you did with us on the outside turn, you're going to turn it up and let him have it. That sounds great. Okay, I think I got the plan. All right, guys, are you ready for this? I'm on your channel because I need to hear everything that's going on. No, that's not fair. The little boy with the trumpet said, you have to be on your own channel with your own pit team. We're our, his pit team, and this is how we're going to win this race fine this is the last time i'll talk to you we'll see you at the end i mean i'll see you at the end <laughs> out all right boys come on let's make this happen the middle brother drove his beautiful blue souped up car right to the white line again they both gazed up at the light until it turned red then it turned yellow and then it turned green. They raced off as fast as they could. <laughs> they were flying by so fast. All right, come on. Just keep him steady, little boy. The trumpet said, keep him steady. Nice and easy. You got them on it. And once you get that turn, you're going to keep on going. Just like you did with us. They were both going head to head as fast as they could. Finally, they're making their way around the corner. All right. This is it. This is it. Make sure you turn it up once you get to the corner. Little boy, the trumpet said... Keep it nice and steady. Keep it nice and steady. You got it. The youngest brother said, come on, you can do it. All right, hold on, hold on. Don't distract me. I'm going to put it into the next gear and here we go. Oh my gosh. What was that? I have no idea. I just pressed a button and I just rocketed right by him. Winner. I can't believe it. You beat him. You beat him. I can't believe it. You sit by him. What did you push? I don't know. I, I think it was like this nitrous gas or something. The little boy in the trumpet and his brothers were celebrating at the end of the track. The blue car was doing donuts and creating all sorts of havoc at the end of the track in the winner's circle. Okay, guys, that was real funny. You didn't tell me you had a secret weapon. We didn't even know we had a secret weapon. Well, a deal is a deal, and you guys beat me. Looks like we'll have to come back another day. Yeah. I think we'll have to come back another day. Little boy with the trumpet shaked his hand, and the other brother shook his hand, and the other brother pulled out his hand and began to shake his hand, and then decided that he was not going to shake his hand. But finally, after they discussed, and they said, I think you need to give him a nice handshake, they all shook his hand, and they turned around, 
and began to walk back. I can't believe it. You actually beat that guy. I know. And it was a Ferrari, too. Did you know about that button? Yeah, I kind of knew about that button. But I didn't push that button when I raced you guys. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. They made their way all the way back and jumped into the shower. They put on their pajamas and they climbed into bed. I can't believe it, guys. It was such a great time out there. We had so much fun. They closed their eyes and they placed their heads in the soft pillow. They slowly rested their heads and began to drift into a deep, deep sleep. As they closed their eyes, the eyes began to get heavier and heavier. And soon, they were able to fall fast and fast asleep. They had such a wonderful day and couldn't wait for tomorrow to come.